Hey guys, this is Alex from AP Auto Art, APAutoArt.com, and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how I create a realistic fog effect for my photos. Um, as you can see here, this half of the image does not have any fog to it, and this half does. So, yeah, let's begin. Alright, so we'll hide this and we'll start with the base. So, the first thing I do is I brush in some fog, and I have a custom brush that I built for the fog effect, and uh, I'm not going to go through a tutorial on how to build it, but here are all the settings, so if you change, if you make a new brush with the settings, you'll be able to get the same result. So I'll leave these up for a second. This. That. And lastly, turn smoothing on. So the first thing I do is I select white as the foreground color, and for the background, just a uh, mid gray, not too dark, not too bright, and with an opacity around 20 to 30, just start painting it in. Just click and drag. And uh, this brush, the way all the settings are applied, it actually randomizes every single time. So I tend to just click a few times, well, click, drag a few times, and I click again, drag a little bit more, and I kind of work the horizon. So I work around the car. I don't go too far up or too far down. Just kind of around the height of the car itself. And so, yeah, just keep doing that for a little while. And one thing I noticed is that uh, my layer, its opacity has already changed to 80, but if you have 100%, this is what it would look like. And the reason that I have a gray as my background color is this brush, the way it's set up, it uses both tones and it creates colors in between. And so that creates a smooth, realistic transition. So anyways, that's what we have here. Then I create a mask, and just using a soft brush, uh, let's see here, make it a little smaller. Uh, again, with you, the brush pass it around tw uh, 20, 20 is more fair. I don't want to go too big, but I don't want to go too small either. And so I just kind of remove the ground a little bit, just so it's not near the car and everything. And then kind of the same on top, just so it doesn't look uh, consistent. Just to have different heights, and just so it's a little emptier in some areas, a little more dense in others. I also have a mask that I pre-built for this tutorial, but I also make sure to fill that in as well. Let's see here, foreground color. Oh. Fill. Foreground color. There. So this way the car has no fog on it. You could have fog on the car, but I personally wanted to just have it as part of the background and so it did not have any fog on the car itself. The next thing I do is using a gradient that fades into nothing, so from a base foreground color into a zero opacity. I fade white, kind of from the base of the tire, and a little further up. And this layer is changed to 20, but at 100 it'll look like this. So change it back to 20, create a mask, and uh, do the same thing. So the first thing I do is fill that in. There. And then using a, a brush, I start at 100 just to get rid of all the ground. And then again at a 30 to 20, just kind of brush it away randomly. This kind of creates a more of a consistent fade going upward, but at the same time you can control it and just kind of get it to look the way you would like it to. And so that's the first two portions of the fog. After that, I used different effects, like I added a sky, gradients, and all that stuff to create the whole atmosphere. I won't go through this, because you can build it any way you like. That's just what I did. But after I did that, then I wanted to have kind of a transition of fog from the top. So again, using a gradient of white to nothing, I blend it, let's see, from the top. A little higher than the top, almost a little below the center line between the top and the car. And then I changed that to around 70, and uh, that's pretty much it. After that, I had more atmosphere effects, and I wanted to affect the whole image. And uh, there we go. So that's that, and let's see. So it looked very similar to the original photo that I built before this tutorial. 
Thanks again for watching guys. If you have any questions about this tutorial or anything else, please let me know and I'm always happy to help. Uh, if you like, you can connect with me on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter as AP Auto Art. So search for that and you'll find me everywhere. So I'll see you all in another tutorial. Take care. So I'll see you all in another tutorial. Take care.